Wait, if you slap Dwayne Johnson on the butt, does that mean you hit rock bottom? <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, I got one. Did you know that Bruce Willis died of a Viagra overdose? Yeah? Guess he really did die hard. <laughs> <laughs> so my friends, they ask me, how do you sneak so much chocolate into the movie theater? All right, how do you do that? I tell them. I got a few twigs up my sleeve. <laughs> no, you didn't! No, you didn't! I did! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I got one, I got one. Do you know what the internal temp of a tauntaun is? Oh, God. Lukewarm! <laughs> What is going on everybody? Welcome to Tavern Talk. I am Philip, and joining me this week, I'm Zach. Zach is first, my brother. Second, big time, what would you want me to call it without making it sound bad? Uh, I try to not use the term Disney adult. Everything would be better with a fast pass. <laughs> Cause it's Disney down upon. Auto. <laughs> yeah, but just ever since uh, I got to go to Disney World in 2015, I've just been a big fan and I keep up with a lot of the, <laughs> the parks <laughs> progress and stuff like that, so it's just, anything kind of related to Disney in that fashion. I've, I've always been really intrigued in, so. Right, so I knew this would be a fun conversation anyway, but because you know a lot about the rides and the parks and the history, yeah. and uh, I figured it was a perfect time to talk about Jungle Cruise. Oh yeah. Uh, it's the latest from Walt Disney Studios, the latest one to uh, kind of, a, I wouldn't say adapt a ride necessarily yeah but it's kind of just it's taking you know something that's been there for a long time and then giving it new life and, and right so. they did this with pirates of the caribbean caribbean and i think they're both right yeah whatever you prefer <laughs> um and they did it with haunted mansion with yes. eddie murphy back in the day which i hear is the, getting some kind of reimagining it I, it's going over over under some re, uh refurbishments but i i don't need, i don't know like the specifics of it yeah right. it's still the movies very... too is uh, actually i think they're doing like a different movie is it really i think so that's awesome um, that's i said to uh to my wife after i watched this i said they really should uh <laughs> give haunted mansion another <laughs> chance <'cause laughs> not to uh not to crap on eddie but uh it, I don't think I ever saw it. I, I saw bits and pieces. I don't think I ever actually watched the full thing. In, in the Unfortunately, I've seen all five Pirates movies. <laughs> I'm just yes. kidding. I love those first three. Yeah, um, for sure, for sure. And I can't wait for the Harley Quinn version of it. I mean, Margot Robbie. Yes. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so this week we're talking about Jungle Cruise. It is uh, kind of, you know, just what it sounds like. It's an action adventure family-ish film. Uh, it's PG-13, so it's got a it's got a couple of, uh, of edgy bits to it, both um, action-wise and comedically. I would say. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they, they, they push it a, a couple times. <laughs> uh, but. Uh, it stars, I guess we should start with that, it stars The Rock and Emily Blunt in the leads. Um, you've also got Jack Whitehall who is playing Emily Blunt's brother. We have Jesse Plemons playing uh, basically the bad guy of the whole thing, but kind of an unnecessary bad guy. We'll get to that later. Um, Edgar Ramirez is there as the one that should have been more of the bad guy. Yeah. And then for some reason Paul Giamatti shows up for two scenes. <laughs> that was one of the things throughout this movie. I was like, okay, who, who are we focusing on here? Yeah. Who's the real antagonist here? That's, I, I, yeah. By the end of it I was like, we didn't need this guy. Which one am I supposed as to As much be as I of? love Jesse Plemons, yeah, like, yeah. if you want to see Jesse Plemons have some fun, go watch Game Night. I've always enjoyed the camaraderie of good friends competing in games of chance and skill. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> favorite, favorite role. <laughs> I know. It's great. Uh, good old Meth Damon. But at the same time, I was just like, what's he doing here? Like, he seems to be having fun. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know what else, you know, I don't know what's going on with him. Yeah, if um, you know him and, like, you know those types of roles he's yeah. done, like, regardless of, of what he's doing on screen, like, it, it made me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> because of him. Right. Uh, and then, 
I really don't know what Paul Giamatti was like. This is total paycheck for him. It, it, I was, I was, kind of, I was so bummed I didn't see more of him because of, it's Paul Giamatti. You know, because this is definitely kind of aping like Raiders of the Lost Ark mm -hmm. and kind of even like Goonies feeling. And yeah. uh, what was the other one? A lot of people were referencing. Uh, the Mummy, 1999's The Mummy. Yeah. Kind of in there. And then, of course, Pirates, like we mentioned. Yeah. But uh, it it, uh, it kind of felt like he kind of just wanted to be in a movie like that. And somebody he's like, yeah, I'll do it. Whatever, Whatever role you Put got. Put some fake tan on me like I just got burnt. Yeah. And uh, I'm good. He's, but... he's so convincing like it, like in any type of uh, intimidating role. Uh, that's why I wanted a little bit more <laughs> of him. But uh, so obviously, you know, the, the, the jig here is initial reaction. Yes. Uh, it just came out of watching Jungle Cruise. What is your like first thoughts on, on this movie? Um, I, going into it, I definitely didn't want to uh, have any you know type of um, I think something to compare it with. It was hard not to like even from the trailers compare it to Pirates. Yeah. Uh, because of you know the similar uh, aspects of it being brought from a ride. I thought it was I thought it was like okay yeah like just just middle of the road. Uh, it was fun in some parts, but there was definitely some things that kind of took me out of it that uh, uh, could have been better. That's the only thing. It, it could have, uh, just with some some changes, uh, could have been, I, I feel like, in that Pirates territory. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just a few things that kind of kept it out of that. I know. I, I was, it definitely felt like it had some unfulfilled potential. Because yeah. it's just, like, <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah. It, <laughs> I want to mention it was uh, directed by Jean Colette Serra. He's he's a director who's done um, he did a lot of the Liam Neeson movies like after Taken after he got into the action genre. Um, he did like Unknown, Nonstop, Run All Night, and then he did uh, The Shallows with Blake Lively. It was the Blake Lively Shark movie uh, a couple years back, um, and all like fun little B movies, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. But he's never worked on this scale before. Right. And then like as soon as it started, I was like, oh. He's really good at taking like cliches and reminding us like why they're cliches. Yeah. Because it's like they're they were fun once upon a time before they'd been you know hammered into the ground. Yes. And he adds like a little bit of freshness to him, like the scene in the beginning where Emily Blunt is trying to steal this artifact. Yeah, absolutely. It's like it's it's pretty great. Like it's just fun. Yeah. yeah. And then um, it like keeps going. We're ten minutes in. We meet the Rock's character, Frank. Yeah. who is the skipper on the Amazon, uh, and he's great. He's like, great. If, if you know the ride, if you're familiar with, you know, the way that the humor uh, connected to the actual ride in, in the parks, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's very similar to that, so it's, it gives you that, that appreciation uh, right off the bat, introducing his character. And, and does then, it, like, is that kind of the feel, like that first scene with The Rock, that's uh -huh. kind of the feeling of the ride kind Absolutely. of just encapsulated? Yeah, yeah, very... Uh, <laughs> And it, now it being, you know, have been around for so long, like people who, who go on this ride are kind of expecting that. But if right. you ever experience it for the first time, that's that's literally what it's like. Okay, so I'm picturing like an animatronic skipper, or is there like an actual actor doing it? There is an actual actor. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's different <laughs> Disney cast members uh, who, you know, you'll, depending on what time of the day you go, you'll get a different uh, cast member. But, oh, okay. Uh, they deliver, are supposed to deliver the same script. Uh, okay. And just kind of give their their flair to it. Right? See, in my head, it was just an old animatronic <laughs> skip for like delivering the same five puns a day, yeah, like for each ride. <laughs> well, that's good to know. That's yeah, good. at least yeah. yeah, that's some real effort there. But like, you know, The Rock is like impossible not to like. Exactly. And yeah. so, and he's he's having fun too. Like as for sure. as much as Paul Giamatti and Jesse Plemons are having a great time being in a movie like this, yeah. The Rock is like. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this jungle theme going. I had a great time with Jumanji. Yep. Let's do this. <laughs> it and... could totally be the same character. <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, with what he reveals in the movie, you know, yeah. somewhere in that lifetime. Uh... And, uh, you know, slight spoilers, I guess, but I liked in the flashback sequence, I liked that The Rock like, looked different yeah. than we're used to seeing him. I'm like, you should do this more, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I know you got like the skipper vest and hat on and everything, but I, I like what you were going for there. Yeah. I and mean, I, that part Hercules actually. Hercules wasn't that bad. <laughs>
<laughs> that part actually, yeah, it gave it some, uh, it gave it some, a little more depth than uh, I was kind of even expecting. I was going to ask, uh, is that is that mythology a part of the ride at all? It's not. They they actually recently uh, are adding to it. They're okay. trying to build the ride uh, uh, in its story itself because it's been very just you know uh, shallow in, in what it's you know presenting to you. Uh, ride through the jungle uh, with all its jokes and uh, animatronics. Is the Rock gonna do videos for the ride? Uh, I don't think so. But that's a great. Uh, uh, <laughs> that would be a great addition. I didn't know if he was gonna try to one up Vin Diesel one more time with yeah. those. Uh, Fast Furious Universal rides. They like, did. Oh, they yeah. did add a. Uh, so so originally, Pirates didn't ha obviously didn't have the char character of Jack Sparrow. Right, right. After you know, with its popularity, they added a uh, Jack Sparrow animatronic. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. So, it's gotta happen. It's gotta happen. It's gotta happen. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, yeah. but they are building some of the story uh, with the ride. They're kind of like trying to build around it and get you more. Uh, what's the word? Um, Invested in it, the like. Yeah. the story of the ride or like yeah. take you more on a journey I guess right yeah, yeah. and so you're kind of like maybe looking for new things oh, throughout okay. the ride as you're going through and uh, kind of know some of the the, uh, the legend gotcha yeah well that's like and I did appreciate like a lot of the story yeah. as far as like the like I mean it's not like groundbreaking script writing but it's set up really nicely like mm -hmm. there's the beginning uh, you know when Emily Blunt's character she's trying to essentially find this uh, flower yeah. petal that uh, will advance medicine uh, and save a lot of lives and everything because it takes place during, I think, 1916? 16. 16, So yeah. uh, we're in World War I territory there. Yeah. Um, obviously, they don't ever refer to it as World War I because they didn't know there was going to be two. Anyway, um, so she's trying, you know, she's well-intentioned and a kind-hearted person, uh, yeah. but she's very... Um, very stubborn and yes. very hard-headed and like willed. yes like, gonna get her gonna get done what she needs to get done yeah, the way sure. she wants it done yeah. and uh and you know we haven't really talked about emily blunt yet but right yeah i mean another she, charming lady right. that like you can't help but like in anything that she does and they're good together too <laughs> yeah, like yeah. for the most part there is some like again not to spoil too much but it does kind of lead to uh, a romance which we're not really used to seeing with The Rock for some reason. <laughs> and it's like it's, it's like it's all, always kind of there, but you never actually like get that full step with <laughs> yeah. Him. And it's just like okay, sure, yeah. why not? Yeah. Uh, but I don't like they're all they're all great together, and you can tell they're like really into wanting to make this yeah. a fun adventure movie, like a throwback. To, to the movies we kind of mentioned before, to that genre, that type of storytelling. And the story's there for it, but what's kind of disappointing is because I like enjoyed a lot of uh, Sarah's... Really? For me? I'm not talking about Michael Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like when I say that, though, <laughs> Michael Sarah did not direct this movie. You just see him with that? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not too bad. I mean, it should be okay. I'm not too worried about it, really. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried at all. <laughs> That's not a good Michael <laughs> uh, But I just feel like his direction, like I feel like his career's kind of been building towards a, a bigger production like this. Yeah. And there are just some missteps there that kind of took me out of the world. Yeah. It seems like it, like the way the story unravels, it felt like it was a, a script that had been written and like kind of put to the side and yeah. something better was, like for some other movie. Uh, and they're like, no, let's just do it. We could fashion this <laughs> into just, a Jungle Cruise movie. Yeah, we can't think of anything really groundbreaking. <laughs> let's just use this because it's going to make a lot of money regardless. Yeah, and the thing, like, I was talking about with, like, just kind of being taken out of it was with those movies we mentioned earlier, like Raiders and yeah. The Mummy, and I feel like there's another one that I'm not, uh, I mean, maybe it was just Pirates. To compare it, Pirates. Yeah. Uh, like, all of those, you felt like, you know, real locations and yeah. like you felt like uh like a real tangibility to the world or something like it was grounded the stakes in this where it actually meant something yeah because you felt like you were you knew there. they weren't just you know they were swinging over water and not on a green screen yeah and yeah. like with this you can just tell like there's especially there's one scene there out on the rocks boat at night yes and the background is just like <laughs> yeah very obvious did you, i mean what is go man? Did this did this make it to the last stage? I, did you guys forget to send that shot in? Like, what is going? I don't know. I was just like, 
Yeah, I know you spent at least two hundred million on this movie. <laughs> yeah, and that is not on the screen on that shot. So, I agree. I, I agree. don't know. I, but, the, another okay. thing to add to like just the the positive side of it, like felt like it was a fun just adventure story. But I looked at the uh, the time and like it doesn't stop for the first 35, 40 minutes. Right. It just keeps going, like, one thing after the next uh, with, with how high tempo it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not that it was a bad thing, but I just looked and I was like, geez, it really hasn't stopped. No, yeah. <laughs> well, and I kind of, like, I enjoyed that. Like, I was getting into it and having fun with it. Yeah. Uh, and then by the third act, I was like, are we done yet? Right, yeah. Because it, it just was went like two on. hours. Wasn't yeah, it? <laughs> it went on and I was, and you know what happens. It just, it lost steam. <laughs> well, that's as good a place as any to uh, kind of, you know, come to the conclusion of this review. Uh, any other, like, thoughts you want to throw out there? I did have a good time, but, yeah, like, ultimately it made me want more to go rewatch one of those movies we keep talking about yeah, rather right. than ever revisit this one again. I haven't watched The Mummy in, like, I think since The, cake, right. the Scorpion King came out. <laughs> I need to go oh, back and watch that. Multiverse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is so Jumanji. <laughs> I was going to so say, the, the Rock Jungle Cinematic Green. Universe is crazy. <laughs> yep, it all revolves around the Scorpion King. The Scorpion King, <laughs> yeah. Um, now, there was one thing, interview with uh, Emily Blunt and The Rock before, and it, he was just talking about how uh, when he saw Pirates, he was like, I always want to be in a, uh, a movie like this. Mm. Uh, hopefully it becomes something and uh, he actually went to the parks a couple times throughout production and would actually give uh, oh, fun. people tours as a skipper on the, the ride so uh, just seeing like that uh, and it actually means something like outside of you know a job is right. pretty cool it, that, it yeah, makes that it is a little cool. more wholesome and yeah. that's why everybody loves the rock yeah for sure <laughs> so uh, verdict time mm -hmm. uh, on Jungle Cruise out of five stars what would you go um, I think about halfway through the movie I was like this is sitting at a three for me uh, but I think officially I have to go to five yeah 2.5 yeah and it's just because it it had the I feel like it had the potential for for more and it just just didn't quite get it to me yeah I'll go ahead and go three like I I enjoyed it enough to say um, I'd, I'd see it on the big screen. Yeah, there are Definitely a couple that, yeah. like visuals that aren't as up to par as you would hope, especially with a movie like this. But the scope is there, um, and it really is, especially for the first like hour and a half. If they had just trimmed it down a little bit, it would have been a solid little action adventure movie that a good range of ages could have enjoyed. But I just, I don't know. Like I felt like it, it, it really fell off there in the in the last act, and just kind of like. I was like, okay, we get it. But, you know. Lost him. It lost him. <laughs> it did. Uh, but no, that's, uh, you know, it, 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 is, it is fun. And if, you know, you are interested in the, or if you're a fan of the Disney parks at all. Yeah. Um, sure. I, th I think it would probably be worth checking out just Definitely. to kind of, you know, fill that, fill that quota for, for your love for Disney. Yeah. Um, but thanks, dude. Yeah, I man. appreciate it. This was fun. Anytime, anytime. <laughs> All right. Well, and thank you guys for watching. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. You want to click that bell. That way you get a notification every time we upload a new review, which we try to do every week, a new review of the, the biggest release. So definitely do that. Thank you again. Uh, thanks to the Movie Tavern for letting us see the movies here, record the show here. Always want to uh, say thank you to them. And if you have one near you, uh, check them out. Check out Jungle Cruise on the big screen at the Movie Tavern. Uh, if you are able. And uh, that's it for this week, um, but we'll talk to you next time. Peace. I got a big twix up. <laughs> <laughs>